When I was starting out, uh, I wish that I had known that I wasn't the only one that would, or that was or was going to experience fear or anxiety or stress. Um, I think everyone in the world experiences those things, but certainly within the performing arts world, it's such a personal thing sometimes. It's not just about the work that we're doing, it's about the way we look for a lot of performers, the way we sound, the people we know or don't know. You know, it can be very, very terrifying <laughs> in this industry. And I wish I had known that everyone around me was experiencing the same sorts of things. Well, I mean, I think I, I started a long time ago and, and uh, mental health just wasn't sort of on the agenda in many ways, as it is now. With reflecting back when this project started up, I, I, I suddenly understood what I let go to the keeper, I suppose, in, 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 in my dealings with other performers who were struggling. And I thought that that was sort of all part of it. In fact, I felt a little bit boring if I did, didn't have a bit of that as well. And so I felt a little bit too normal. And, and also it wasn't my place to say, hey, maybe, you know, you should see something, someone about that. And I've been there. I've been worried about seeking help. And I think the best place to start is probably with your friends or the, the network that you've set up around you or someone you feel close to or someone you feel comfortable to, with. So you don't necessarily have to seek out professional help straight away. Um, it can be quite daunting. It can be quite, um, it can give you a bit of anxiety, I think, which is, you know, a bit annoying. If you're suffering from anxiety and you need help, it gives you anxiety to seek help. The realities of the financial pressures in this industry are very real and you know how do we pay to go and see somebody or a psychologist or somebody who might talk us through when you haven't had a show in a long time or you haven't been doing a show so I guess knowing how to pick up the phone and ring somebody or find out where there might be a place where you can just drop in. Reach out to people who you trust whether it be a colleague whether it be your manager but also take advantage of um, some of the more confidential uh, mechanisms that are available to you. So the, we have an employee assistance program at Arts Centre Melbourne and provides um, support for all kinds of issues that you may be going through. As a starting post, therapy is, it's, it's a gift that we can actually give ourselves just to relieve a lot of pressure. In, in, in Australia particularly, we don't seem to rely on it enough. We, it's still a little bit taboo to talk about going to see a therapist or going to see a psychologist or a, or a psychiatrist. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to share things with other people whom you trust without thinking of it as a personal shortcoming and that in sharing those things, it tends to be of benefit. I think the, the benefits of focusing on your mental health will not only benefit you, but also a lot of your family and friends around you, a lot of your support networks. I think take it with both hands and, and find a way through it, and whichever way it is that you can find that way through it, whether it's through being open with your fellow workers, whether it's through um, seeking professional mental help, whether it's through any personal approaches that you can take to maintaining your mental health is so important. Our instrument is us and that is a total, a total being that needs to be looked after. You know, the art is within us and we are the art. So I think any type of uh, help that you can get is essential and there's decreasing shame around going and seeking help too, which is fantastic. I guess the main message is don't feel embarrassed. There's, there's no stigma around it. There's so many of us experience mental health issues on a daily basis. You're, you're really not alone.